You two are in a very weird way evil twins. The stunt double's feet are coming up to hit my hands. And I had no idea how you guys were gonna pull that off. And I was like, oh my God, these are legendary actors. Yeah, but guess what? So, so are you, baby. <laughs> On set, mic'd up in front of the whole crew, she was like, Dan, I can't stop thinking about your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table. Uh, we are here with our movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. <laughs> here uh, laughing at my uh, amazing performance is Jamie Lee Curtis, <laughs> Michelle Yeoh, Stephanie Hsu, Ki Kwan. I'm also Daniel, Daniel Scheinert. I wrote it and directed it with him. Cheers! Cheers! This is Wang. This is Wang. Mrs. Wang, are you with us? I am paying attention. Can I ask a question? Yes, <laughs> you son. Yeah. Is it the Daniels mm. or is it just Daniels? So, I think a lot of people are confused. This is important. Confused. I know. Yeah. We should put this on our Wikipedia page. Yeah, we <laughs> put it on your We're Wikipedia. We're not offended when people call us the Daniels, but we 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 go by Daniels because we thought it was too arrogant to try to own the name Daniels. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, We're just some Daniels. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. rando Daniels. Right. Some the Daniels. Daniels. I feel like is offensive to like Lee, Lee Daniels. And Jeff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Jack, oh. Of course. Right. Yeah. Well, that's good. That we clear that up. Sentence in the sentence, you can say the Daniels, but right. lowercase t, please. I hate. That. Right. Upper right. case T. T poof. I know. Yeah. It's uh, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> is it Jamie or just or the Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> the, the Jamie. Jamie. Right. 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 Yeah, sorry. Like, <laughs> like Madonna. What other Jamies yeah. are there? God, yeah. The <laughs> Jamie. The Michelle. Yeah. The Stephanie. Well, I mean, yeah. The yeah. Key. Yeah. Well, no, I was curious because in the trailer, which is so amazing, it does just say Daniels. Daniels. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I thought maybe it was a typo. That's, oh. I mean. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. Sometimes we like to leave mistakes for the fans. So okay. They, well, I was just wondering. Yeah. yeah exactly. I will be quiet. We kept telling. Oh, is that why our right? movie looks like that? Yeah. 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 Mistakes yeah. <laughs> for the fans. For the fans. I love. I love when. I didn't know. You, you know that YouTube channel, like, uh, what is it? Movie sins or whatever. Why are we? Cinema sins. Oh, I love yeah. cinema sins. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah. we, we like to leave things in for them. You know, just oh, to make yeah. sure our, right. we want our cinema sins to be very long. Yeah. Lots of things for them to call so out. Some smug guy can be like, the clock is different. Now you may only. I see a pile of receipts, but I see a story. I can see where this story is going. It does not look good. What's happening? One of the best things about this movie is the cast. And I can say that because I'm the director and I watch you guys like surprise me every day. Um, and I think one of the things that people are going to be really talking about is the fact that each one of you guys surprise the audience in a different way. Everyone is doing something that's completely outside of their comfort zone or just something you would not expect. <laughs> and I, would, I, I just love the way you guys talk about each other on set. You guys were always so gracious. What was the most impressive or surprising thing that you saw one of your other cast members do? I'll, I'll tell a story about Jamie. Oh. I know, oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> I, knew, I knew this was coming. Th this is a great story. <laughs> so we were shooting in Simi Valley in this abandoned building. Yeah. Jamie's dressing room happened to be right next to mine. So we're dressing room neighbors. <laughs> Right? But every morning and when I go to my room, he means like old accounting office. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and and so so we're dressing room neighbors. And every morning when I walk on uh, to the to my dressing room, I never see her there. Her door is always wide open. Her purse is in there, but she's never there. Why? And this is like maybe the first week, and the curiosity got the best of me. And one day I went up to her. I said, Jamie, where do you go? I never see you in your dressing room. She says, Key. I am always on set because you gotta understand, you don't learn anything in the dressing room. Mm -hmm. It is on the set, that's where you learn. And here is multi award winning actress who's been in this okay. business for decades, <laughs> yeah. and take she is in, still in. wanting to learn. I mean, that is so inspiring, Jay. I, I, I thought you were going to talk about is that I was stealing chairs. <laughs> anyway, guys. I didn't steal them, I paid for them, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. We were in the abandoned, what was uh, uh, countrywide savings and loan building <laughs> when it went under, which is now used for commercials and movies. Mm -hmm. And you guys took it over for the entire movie. Yes. And so instead of trailers, we had offices. Mm -hmm. In the thing, mm -hmm. the first day I'm in this office and I walk in and I notice there's this really cool chair in front of the desk area in my office. And right away I flipped it over and it was a Pollock chair. 
Wow. It is one of those, if you go on eBay, go on eBay right. Pollock Only Jamie chair. would notice this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, wait. I'm going to tell you. Wait. This building has now uh, switched hands, what, four or five times since mm -hmm. Countrywide went under? And they don't have a clue what's in this building. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of Aeron chairs mm -hmm. and cubicles. Wow. And I went to the guy and said, you know, I'm just outfitting my offices and I could use some chairs. Do you think they'd sell them to me? Oh and he said, well, I don't know, let me ask. <laughs> Two days later, he came back and he said, well, yes, they would. I said, great, and I came up with a number, cash. I paid him cash great. for 12 of those chairs. Oh, wow. Lord. This <laughs> is how we fund our next movie. Evelyn, I'm not your husband. I'm another version of I'm from another universe. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today, a whole time to help you. I mean, I think my favorite thing Obviously, I was so lucky. I don't even think I realized at the time that I was just in a room full of legends because my way of coping with stress is like, I am gonna be fearless. I'm not gonna process <laughs> any of that till later. And I just remember Michelle always giggling and laughing, being like, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> and then you watch it and you're like, are you sure? Because you look amazing and you're epic and every moment is so clear and it was just so, amazing to watch you completely surrender every mm -hmm. single day like show up mm -hmm. with infinite joy and then be like okay boys mm -hmm. what do i have to do for you today <laughs> <laughs> but she, always with such like absolute excellence what I she paid was doing yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she says she doesn't know she didn't she didn't know what she was doing but the night, the weekend before we went to go shoot, we we went to you know hang out in your hotel just to go over the script i saw her script Every single page has at least three or four sticky tabs. It was just a, a rainbow. She did her homework, Notes and she like I I think she's underplaying how how much work she put into yeah. it because Michelle's in literally every frame of this movie. Like maybe there's like a frame that she's not there, but it's like remarkable. Yeah, there's some shot reverse shot scenes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, like, <laughs> there's a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a raccoon. That's yeah. the only shot without Michelle. It's an extraordinary performance. I mean, it's just an incredible. It's, it's hard to imagine, I'm a, I can only assume there's just literally no other human being on earth. Mm -hmm. Like you can say that about people out going, nobody else could have done that part, bull mm -hmm. Many people could do that part, <laughs> nobody else could have done this part. Yes. Nobody yes. No. on that's earth, true. Yeah. That's true. except yeah. Michelle Yeoh. I remember so at the end of week one. Uh, oh, get used to it, honey. Maybe I told you this. Uh, we were shooting the scene where uh, you two are fighting and uh, Jamie's leaping through the air to try to smash Michelle uh, wrestler style. You had to say I love you and say it sincerely and, and mean it. We didn't think it was like the most emotionally important scene. You know, mm. like it's like it's action, but there's a little bit of emotion. And then like uh, you said, I love you so sincerely and just like squirted a tear, but it didn't quite fall in your close up. And our uh, assistant stunt choreographer. Uh, coordinator, yeah. Coordinator, Dan. Dan came up to us afterwards and he's like, that's the second time I've ever cried on set. Like he was at the oh, monitor mm -hmm. and I was like, that's insane. You had one line of dialogue <laughs> in this crazy context and yeah. like was like making people yeah, cry Yeah, but that's ultimately why this is so special is because it is a crazy context and it is a multiverse movie and it is wacky and there's a lot going on mm -hmm. but it at the center of it is mm -hmm. this which is a family of people trying to figure out how to get along and how to accept each other and if that isn't the common link to every human being in the world mm -hmm. and so that's the beauty of the movie is that you can have that you know, sort of opposite action, uh, action scene of flying through the air and some sort of weird martial arts, and at the same time have someone saying I love you, truly saying I love you, not as you said, the most emotional thought in the movie, but for her it was. Yes. Mm. yes. Because to say I love you to somebody, truly say it, mm. is the most intimate thing mm. that you can say. So I think that's why the movie works. I'm just saying. Mm. Across the multiverse, I've seen thousands of Evelyns. You can access all their memories, their emotions, even their skills. There's a great evil spreading throughout the many verses. And you 
may be your only chance of stopping it. I have a surprise story. <laughs> oh, yes, the oh. actors. We worked with uh, Steph Shu on a TV project before this, and so we knew that you were um, a unique creature. <laughs> uh, but like, I'll <laughs> never forget like the first audition of Jobu, uh, who's like <laughs> the villain in the movie. But like, we encouraged her to be weird and, and stay on script-ish, but we were like, that's not the point. The point is just to see like how unpredictably weird this villain can be. And like your first audition was like one the wildest audition I've ever <laughs> seen. Because you just like kept breaking the script and ruining it and making fun of us and then turning back into the character and fake crying and it was like and we were like, oh my God, that was like, um, afterwards it took us like a week to be like, it was like we were, it was like The Mask with Jim Carrey. It was yeah, like we yeah, were just yeah. watching <laughs> this person like be unhinged in like such a joyous and unpredictable way. So fans uh, of The Mask should come to our movie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. it was like, like, God, and then we went back and like rewrote the, the script. Mask. We were like, we gotta like write some of her improv into the script. That was unreal. You always make fun of me that I think I said something along the lines of, wouldn't it be funny if I didn't get the part? <laughs> uh, you said that in the audition? Yeah. 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 Well, but I meant it genuinely. Like, uh -huh. wouldn't it be funny? This is really hard. <laughs> you, yeah, you said a lot of things that were very funny. <laughs> yeah, so, Steph, you said a lot of things that you like aren't supposed to say in an audition. Right. But it totally worked. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is barely has anything to do with anything. Yeah. But when we were working, uh, we met while working on Nora from Queens, the Comedy Central show, uh, which is also where we met Harry Shum Jr., who's in the movie. And, yeah. Um, the day before we shot with you, you watched Turn Down For What for the first time. Oh my God, I can't and So then like, <laughs> on set, no. mic'd up in front of the whole crew, she was like, Dan, I can't stop thinking about your penis. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't like that. <laughs> okay. It wasn't. Have some sake. Yeah. And we were I so know. embarrassed. It was the first day of shooting. And we're no, like, it wasn't. It was the we're, second day. Was it? It was oh. definitely the okay. second day. Right, right, right. You can warm up to our right, second right. day. We were like, it's a music video. It's a mu She's talking about a music video. He has his clothes yeah. are on. <laughs> I, did, I definitely didn't say it like, hey, Dan, I can't, I can't stop thinking. Yeah, <laughs> you were giggling. You were I just was, like. I was overwhelmed. Yeah. You guys overwhelmed We all were me. overwhelmed when we saw it. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me fight you. I am really good. I don't believe you. Really good. Um, I have just one thing about key. Mm. So as you guys can tell, we all are pretty much nut jobs and we're very comfortable in our lives and in our work. And for a long time, Key didn't do this work. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, one of the most beautiful aspects for me of this movie is this opportunity that has been given to a talent to resume, not come back, but to resume mm. their work. There was a mm. pause. A long, a long pause. A long pause, which I, I, is probably better for you to explain. Well, you know, I, then there, I want to follow up with it, but explain yeah, the yeah. pause. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I was very lucky when I was a kid. You know, I was in a couple of really memorable movies. Yes. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you what know, like uh, a little movie called The Goonies, you know, uh, Indiana Jones. Maybe. You were in that <laughs> No, but and, and then and then the truth is, as I got older, there was just not a lot of opportunities for an Asian actor at that time. Older meaning like fourteen. No, no, like late teens, early twenties. Right. Okay. Uh, and then I just found myself waiting and waiting for the phone call for an audition, not even a job, but just right. just an opportunity to audition. Right. And it came. You know, like once a year mm. or once every six months, while my peers were like auditioning for like two times a week, three times a week, and they were doing movies after movies, I, and it was just really dispiriting. I mean, I was, I, it wasn't fun for a time. Uh, so I decided to step away from acting. I went to film school, and uh, and I was content for many years working behind the camera. Mm. And it was not until 2018 when. Michelle's movie, The Crazy Rich, Crazy Rich Asians, came out, and that movie just hit me on so many levels. I remember watching it three times in the theater, and I cried every single time, and I had serious FOMO. Mm. Yeah, and, that's what it all comes I, down to. When I saw so many, the entire cast made up of Asian actors, mm -hmm. and I go, wow, I wish I was up there with them, seriously. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and so the idea of getting back into acting, that's where it started. I called up an agent friend of mine, um, and this was like after decades without an agent. Uh, and I asked him, would you want to rep me? And he says, yes. Two weeks later, 
I got a call about this movie. Two weeks later, this movie. Day one, we did our scene, first day, and I remember oh, afterwards, you, you kind of leaned over and you went, was that okay? Yeah. And I was like, was that okay? That was crazy great. Because the camera was on you guys first. Mm -hmm. And it was then that you told me that. And that was the, my memory of the movie, mm -hmm. uh -huh. was that moment of going like, you haven't had the opportunity yeah. to use that gift yeah. mm -hmm. for decades? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there receiving your gift for the first time in decades? It was, mm -hmm. I remember that moment. I'll never forget that moment because it, it speaks to the, this weird business that we're in mm -hmm. where all of these talented people mm -hmm. just want to do their thing, mm -hmm. just want to be able to express their creativity Passion. and manifest their destiny as creative people and the industry doesn't let them. Mm -hmm. And here was an example where you were being given that opportunity through this wonderful no, I, I, I remember that day, it was the so first do day. I. And I had a panic attack because I was sitting first shot. I'm sitting in front of the f Jamie Lee Curtis Do behind me. The is, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> Michelle. Uh, excuse me, it's Jamie f***ing Lee Curtis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, the sorry. Yeah, the, the Jamie Lee Curtis. And then to my left was you know James Hong. And I was like, oh my God, these are legendary actors. Yeah, but guess and what? I was so nervous. So are you, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, I think everybody should have a drink for. The return. For the return. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh, I'm late. Thank you, Jake. I love you, Michelle. I love you. The return of Key. Oh, my God. Thank you. That's a good movie. Yeah. For the return of Key. Not the comeback. Not the comeback. Oh. The return. He's waiting in the wings. The universe. He speaks of senseless things. Is so much bigger. Written you and me. Than you realize. Places I could be. I just want to just share with you. Who's a better director of actors? Right. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, so you George guys have worked Lucas. with a couple of other <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, would you, how would you say we rank against, I don't know, Ang Lee, Wong Kar Wai, <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> In the questions so scary. of directing duos, yeah. you do split jobs. Well, it'd be interesting, I think, for people to know how do you guys split the, the job of yeah. co-directors, of two directors. You were directing me more physically and visually, and you were directing me more emotionally. Mm. Oh, wow. So that That's if there was nice an emotional too. note, mm -hmm. performance-wise, you would deliver it, and if it was a physical, visual note, you would deliver it. Huh. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we came but, from, but, oh, but, yeah, but, Michelle, but, go. I don't know. There you go. First of all, this is uh, amazing. I'm amazed that I'm sitting here, first time in South by Southwest, and we're the opening film, so I'm... Ooh, yeah, you're nervous. <laughs> nervous is not the word. I'm a little yeah. overwhelmed, but I think I want to echo uh, the fearlessness of all of you. Mm. Mm. Starting from the two of you. Mm. You two are in a very weird way evil twins. Mm. Like from <laughs> one look, that alike, sort yeah. of splits <laughs> into two. Someone said we were aliens, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks yeah. to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but you worked with no ego. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love the way whenever I, I ask a question, you take a little pause, you look at each other. That was like your signal. I don't know which eye blinked and then one would start first. <laughs> and then the next time they looked at each other, another, then another one would go. <laughs> So it was, it was very interesting watching the two of them work because when I looked at my script, I had the biggest panic attack. Because mm -hmm. I work, yes, I do my homework. I like to do my homework because I feel that when you've done your homework, you can go in and be absolutely crazy mm -hmm. because then you are prepared for things mm -hmm. that are being thrown mm -hmm. your way. When I looked at my script, because how I like to tag it is like if every scene I'm in will have a, a sticker. And by the end, and then if it was an action scene, if it was a very dramatic scene, it would have different color coding and things like that. And yeah. then it was uh, the different universes. And do you do that on every script? I do it on every script. Mm. So I know how, because you know, then you know how to, what you've done, mm -hmm. what you've done, you push it aside. Old brains don't have very much space. <laughs> so they need to be empty, you know, <laughs> like delete, delete. I looked at it and it was literally tagged 
in all the different colors, and you're right. I think there's like three sides of the paper too, completely not just one sided. sided. One, two, three sided, three, it's right? A legendary binder. Yeah, I think it's, we should show a picture or a video. I think or we need it. It's I, really I, great. you yeah. have a video. Yeah, of it. yeah, it's and, incredible. And um, I, I stepped back and I went, okay, I'm just going to do as much as I can. Mm. And then when you say, when I say I don't know what I'm doing, I literally had that approach where I felt we were the limbs, you know, mm. we were the legs. You, you was the body and you were like the <laughs> head. <laughs> no, we were the hands as well, right? Okay? Oh. <laughs> but, you, but you two guys were the spine and the soul, mm. right? Because there was no question you couldn't answer from you or from you. Mm. And I think that was what I said to them. I'm going to come in and we had to be fearless mm -hmm. because it was like a void. You know, and it was sucking us in. Mm -hmm. And then you just gave it and gave it. And I watched you in awe <laughs> and how you transformed from this gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Oh, yeah, give, it, give us that. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. wait, till, <laughs> wait till, and then she has this expanding stomach that I'm still trying to learn. Like, <laughs> blue. Yeah. And you, you're like, where's Jamie? What do you do to my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Your fearlessness mm. made me like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you walk into the, I swear, when I saw the, that, that <sighs> universe, that yes. hot dog <laughs> universe, I, I said to myself, okay, that's the first thing that they're going to take out from the script. <laughs> I, I, I don't even understand it. <laughs> but like you say, because we approach every universe, every character with love and sincerity, we believed in what we were doing because you two created such, a, such strength and power for us. So I thank you. Because yeah. we've traveled across the multiverse, we found each other. Yeah. And that was one thing we discovered was like at the end of the day, we are looking for each other in whatever universe. Mm -hmm. The mother was the daughter was looking for the mother. Mm -hmm. And the friend was looking for another friend. Mm -hmm. And the husband and wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We never let go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember our mission concerning the fate of every single world of our infinite multiverse. There is no way I am the Evelyn you are looking for. You know what, you know, I, I want to touch upon, yeah, like you yeah, said, you said, show. you know, like there were no egos. I mean, that is so true. Like on our set, no egos, no divas. Everybody only you had You are the vision. diva. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody had only one vision, which was to make the best movie yeah. we possibly can. And I, and I love this, you know, I love this cast, this crew. It was just like one of the most amazing adventures I've, I've ever been on. And you know, I, not to, but I'm just gonna keep all weekend telling you both how much I love you, but it's truly, working on a Daniel set is like, you come on, we do warm ups. <laughs> At the end of the week, there are awards given out to crew members right. who maybe yeah. are not, are working on props or a prop assistant that you don't usually see on set every day. And we take this time to celebrate all the, people who are seemingly invisible on a set, but have such a huge impact. And, you know, any executive or any other director would be like, time on the clock is ticking, time on the clock, money out the window, money out the window. <laughs> but that is a huge part of the ethos and the core of how you both like to work. And I think mm -hmm. it makes such a huge difference because everyone in the room feels so valued and then gives their all to the to the project. The love is there because you both lead with trust and care and immense surrender also mm. to your collaborators. You are like, surprise us every day. Do mm -hmm. anything you want. We don't know. And it's so special and mm. singular. You guys all alley-ooped us with that ethos, you know, like the fact that you were not in your dressing room wandering the set and asking people what they're up to and like... I was buying uh, chairs. She was looking the system yeah. <laughs> privately. <Right. laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. By the way, the only but everyone reason... Else and was sitting was, on the set watching... Right. But, you were you in know. it for months. But the by chairs. the way, there was yeah. a lot to learn on this yes. movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, a traditional movie, you, there's always something to learn. But this, there was so much invention. I will, is it in, it's in the movie where Michelle fights me with her feet. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then pulls me to her. Yeah. So Absolutely. there's a sequence where Michelle and I have a fight and in order to shoot it, and I have the video on my phone, which I can't show all of you. But what happened is Michelle was straddling her stunt double. <laughs> 
So if you imagine her stunt double's feet where my hands are, and Michelle, she, the stunt double's laying flat, Michelle is sitting on her, mm -hmm. she and I are fighting, and the stunt double's feet are coming up to hit my hands. And I had no idea how you guys were gonna pull that off. Mm -hmm. I knew it was in the script, and I thought it would just be CG. It was all done practical. Yeah. 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 And that was like, so to me, <laughs> sitting around a Daniel set, mm. you're gonna learn a lot because yeah. there's so mm. much invention. Every rejection, every disappointment has led you here to this moment. Don't let anything distract you from it. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, for those of you watching, uh, this was taped about six hours before the world premiere of our movie. Mm. So very Thank quickly, you. how are you feeling? I can't believe it's happening. Uh, it's been such a long time for me, so it's, it's, it's real emotional for me, but I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And I can't wait for the world to see our movie. People are going to see you and their minds are going to be blown to you. It's going to be amazing. I do feel feelings. <laughs> I feel so squishy in my heart. I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky and grateful. Wow, what a feat it is to make something and put it out in the world in general and then to do something that no one has ever seen anything like it before. Mm. So I just feel so lucky and humbled to be a part of it. Mom? I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, Ma Did you just call me mom? Yeah, yeah oh. you are the mom. You are set mom. <laughs> yeah. You're the f***ing center of the universe. Yeah, I was yeah. yeah. matriarch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're really blessed. We truly are so blessed. Uh, two years ago when we wrapped, that was the start of the pandemic, mm. and we are all around here today celebrating the release of our film. So we should be so, so, feeling so blessed and loved. Thank you. Someone up there is really, has been looking after mm -hmm. us so well. And I think we will continue to spread our love to so many out there who are in dire need of help and peace and all that. So. Let's enjoy our moment! Oh, <laughs> let's do it. And now I have to follow Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Nicely timed there. Uh, everything she said. Uh, and you know more. What? It's a movie for the world right now. Mm. It's a movie about coming back together. Yes. Literally, full circle. The circle, we, we joked at the beginning about the circle, but the bagel, the circle is a very important symbol in the movie. Uh, to me, it's about reunification. And if we ever needed reunification, it's now. So, happy to have a fun, crazy, wonderful journey to get to that place, and I'm honored to be in it. Mm -hmm. Boys. Yeah, it's a roller coaster that heals you by the end. Yeah. Gives you a little hot toddy at the end. Um, thank you, Jamie. A um, sober hot toddy for me, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. Which is tea. tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm mostly going to just say that um, I'm very proud of you guys. I'm very proud of our crew. I'm very proud of us, which is a very weird thing for me. I'm never proud of anything I do. So yeah, this usually is, he's just oh, yeah. thinking about the next one. He's like, yeah. we can do better. And like, I feel oddly relaxed in a way that like mm -hmm. I, I, I know what you guys have done, and I know what we're going to see on the screen, and I feel very excited for the world to, you know, celebrate all of that hard work that you guys did. So mm. um, I'm, we're going to have a wild weekend, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. everybody. Yeah. 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 Entertainment Weekly.